This is day six, your full body rotation flow. Starting with the shoulders, we'll go shoulders, thoracic spine, hips, hips, lower back. Five different movements. Let's go. Starting in a kneeling position, come onto your hands and your knees and just lower your chest down to the ground. We start in scorpion. We are going to do 10 rotations and then hold the stretch at the end. So reaching out your left arm to a 90 degree angle. Press with your right hand and your right foot as you come up and over onto that left side. Now we don't stay there. Come back through the center, change sides, bring the left hand in, right arm up, onto the left. Good, two. Slowly working through these, so keep switching the arms. Three, through the center. Four, we're still breathing. Feel a stretch into your chest. Five, halfway. Eight, two more, nine, and ten. Hold this last one there, so your left foot, if it can be, should be just tapping the ground behind you. You're reaching through the fingertips of that straight arm to feel a stretch into your chest. Make sure your head's resting on the floor. <sighs> Don't strain your neck, we breathe. Hold it here. For three, two, one. Slowly coming back through the centre onto your stomach, we change sides. So left arm reaches out where we began. Right hand, right foot lifts you up and over onto that left side as you reach through the fingertips of your left hand, feeling a stretch in your chest. Breathe. Your fingertips a little further. Good, and then slowly coming back through the center. Okay, next up we go thoracic rotation, which is your mid back. Now grab a cushion or your foam roller, lying onto your side. Make sure you're on top of your shoulder. Your hands are out in front of you, your hips are stacked to a 90 degree bend with your knee. And we begin, so if you're laying your right side, you lift your left arm up and over, as close to the floor as you can get, and then you come back around. You're trying not to lift your legs, keep your hips nice and stacked here. If you can't reach the floor, that's absolutely no problem. You should be able to go a little bit further each time. So we go for two, we go for 10, sorry, again. We're now going on to three. Exhaling as you open up, back through the centre. Add a little reach in the end. Four, not sure if that was four or five, but we'll say four. Good. Five. It's so important to add this rotation into your day six, as we don't do it in our day to day life. So when we do, we get injured. And it's not because we did it, it's because we haven't been. Eight. A little bit further each time, keeping your hips stacked. Nine. One more. Ten. This one here, once again, try and let the weight of your arms sink it a little bit closer to the floor. Your head's looking up to the ceiling. Your hips are stacked, you feel a stretch. In your chest, in your mid back, hold it here for three, for two, and for one. Good, slowly coming back through the center. We change sides. So lay on your left side. Remember, knees, 90 degree angle, hips are stacked. You're on your shoulder, not behind your shoulder. 
and we go for 10, rest the head. Good. One. Two. You'll probably feel more restriction on one side, I definitely feel it. This side, three, exhale. Four. Five. Six. Good. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. Last one. And we hold on the tenth. Good. So hold it there. Let the weight of your arm fall. Force your hands a little bit closer to the ground. Keep your hips stacked. Look up to the ceiling. For three, for two, and for one. Good. Close that arm. Come back into your seated, into your kneeling position. Throw away that cushion unless you want it underneath your knee. We go to our low lunge, greatest stretch of all, world's greatest stretch for your hip flexors. So hands come down, kick your feet back one at a time into a plank position. Take a big lunge forward outside your left hand with your left foot. Back knee can go down or stay up wherever it's comfortable for you. And we go to 10 rotations here. So you twist, open up your chest, reach up with that left hand to the ceiling. Bring your elbow as close to your ankle as you can get and repeat that 10 times. Good. Eight, nine, good, last one, and ten. Okay, instead of holding that, I want you to push up into this low lunge. Your right hand comes outside of your left leg, your left arm opens up, and you look towards the back, um, the back of your mat, and we hold it here. Try not to dip into your shoulder. Feel this twist for three, for two, for one. Good. Come back through the center and we change sides. So lunge forward outside your right hand with that right foot. Back knee up or down, wherever is comfortable for you. We go for that rotations. Reaching up. Good. Twist, look up to the ceiling, two, three, four, remembering to breathe, five, each time try and get your elbow a little bit closer to the ground, six, seven, eight, Nine, one more, ten. That hand comes down to your thigh, lift yourself up. Left hand comes outside your right foot. Right arm opens, look over your right shoulder. Breathe, we hold it here. For three, for two, and for one, okay. Hands come back down, come out of that low lunge, and then we'll sit down onto your bum here. You can cross your legs. We go to a 90-90 hip stretch. stretch. So, if you have your legs crossed, uncrossed, uncross one leg so your foot comes behind you. The 90-90 name comes from two, rough 90 degree angles here. If you can keep your bum to the ground, my hips are a bit tight, so it's hard for me to do that. Have your hands behind your back 
and the movement we work through is you lift up your right knee if it's your right knee that is at the front lift it up as it gets to a point where you can't pull anymore your left leg follows comes all the way through taps down and we work through this rotation try and sit up try not to lift up off the ground we're just going to keep working through that rotation we're not going to go for a certain number we just want to keep moving if you want to let go of your hands and work through but for the most of you keep your hands behind you try not to sink backwards nice and tall and just keep moving through Ooh. it's a really good one to do before any exercise before any running okay we'll just do two more Then just come back through the centre, hold your feet together, clasp your hands around your toes, we'll hold a little stretch here, just pushing your knees down, shuffle your bum to your heels, a little stretch in your adductors, for three, for two, and for one, good, final stretch, we come around, have a little lie down onto your back, we're going to our lower back spinal twist, but starting with a bit of a glute stretch. So, crossing your left ankle over your right thigh, your right foot's on the floor, right knee's bent, arms can be out to the side. We're going to drop to the right, so your left foot comes down to touch the floor. We come all the way back through the centre, over to the left, and we work through this rotation right to left 10 times. So this is two. You should feel a stretch in the outside of both hips, more so your left, whichever foot is crossed over. And breathe, try and keep your core strong, keep your lower back close to the ground. Good. Four more, I think. Two more, three, and four. Once you've completed your last right to left, come all the way back over to the right. You're going to drop your knee to the floor. Bring your right arm and hold your knee a little bit closer. Left arm's out to the side and you can little stretch into your left glute here. Hold it here. If you want to, straighten the right leg. If you want to, straighten the left leg. Stay whatever's comfortable for you as long as you feel the stretch. Down that left side. Three hold for three, for two, and for one. Just coming back through the centre. We change sides. So, left foot is on the ground, lower back's to the ground, right foot crosses over your left knee, and we rock to the left, arms falling out to the side, and to the right, good, that's one, two, close your eyes here, three, so try and keep this movement quite controlled as well, so you're not just falling to the ground either side. Halfway. Six. Feeling your lower back massaging through the ground on your way through. Seven. Eight. Two more and then we hold. Nine, and last one, ten, and coming back through the centre all the way over to the left, 
drop that knee to the ground, use your left hand to lever it, lever it, lever it. Um, straighten your left leg if you want to, come into that nice spinal twist, look over your right shoulder and hold it here. So three more breaths, two and one, gently coming back through the centre in your own time, have a sit up, that is day six, done, thank you for joining, have a great rest of your week.